Hi, it's Pastor Moses from First CRC. Uh, some of you may know where I am. This is the nursery of the church. This is the location where kids, toddlers, um, up to age two are dropped off as the parents go off into the sanctuary for worship. This is where for many kids, they first experience separation, where they first experience becoming an individual, where they're separated from their parents, where they get to interact with other children where they get to interact with uh, nursery attendants for the first time. It's where they learn. It's where they're taught. And for today's midweek devotional, I wanted to share a little bit about uh, something that we're starting anew this Sunday, which is a series on the Lord's Prayer. Now, if you have your Bibles, it's from Matthew chapter 6. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We're going on a seven-week journey on the Lord's Prayer and what that means to us. And I was thinking, what can I share with you as we get ready for the Sunday service? Well, there's something that's been happening at our house lately, which is that Justin has started saying grace before the meal. We call it the word prayer. One day, Justin said, I'm going to pray for the meal. And closed his eyes, put his hands together and said, Thank you, God, for this meal. Thank you, God, for our school. Thank you, God, for our teachers. Thank you, God, for our friends. Thank you, God, for our food. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I thought about this word prayer that Justin had done, and it was really, really cute. And we thought, wow, this is why we should send our kids to Christian schools. But all jokes aside, he learned how to pray. He was taught how to pray. And it's very similar because for many of the disciples who were following Jesus, they needed to learn how to pray. We always think of prayer as something that we do, something that we should know, something that we have come to know. But we're all taught during different times and different ages. And as Justin so poignantly showed all of us in our family that he was taught how to pray. And so I hope that for the next seven weeks, we are reminded and we are taught once again, just as Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. During these times when we realize that prayer is needed, when we really rely on the power of prayer, I hope that this sermon series will educate us, will bless us, will grace us. And second, the fact that we pray in Jesus' name. We don't just simply pray in first CRC's name. We don't pray in Moses' name. We definitely don't pray in Justin's name, but we pray in Jesus' name. It's because it's the Lord's Prayer, but it's also because prayer is what unites all of us, all Christians, all people who are bound together by the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's how we communicate to God. It's what unites us as Christians, as followers of Jesus Christ. And so this Lord's Prayer gives clear guidelines on how we should pray, how we are to be reminded that we are Christians. Heidelberg Catechism teaches us that the Lord's Prayer is a response in gratitude and trust. I hope that you will join with me as we start this journey in looking at the Lord's Prayer and how it speaks to us even during these times of COVID-19, of how we can gather together in the name of Jesus Christ, and how we can be reminded of God's amazing love for all of us. I hope to see you on Sunday. And I hope for that day when this nursery will be full of kids.